today's video is going to help you as you work through quiz number 11. Today's quiz is going to focus on area. Remember, area is the space inside a shape. A lot of times, when asked to find area, we can count up all the little squares on the inside of a shape. But many times, we are given a shape that's completely empty or that's only partially filled up with squares. When that happens, we need to use our formula area equals length times width to find the area of a given shape. Let's take a look at number two together. Number two says, which equation would you use to find the area of this figure? Now remember, an equation is just a different way of saying a number sentence. So, because this shape is not completely filled up with squares, we have to use our formula length times width. So, let's count up the length together. I like to remember that the length is the long side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our length is eight units. And our width, or our wide side, let's count, is one, two, three, four, five. Our width is five units. So we're going to use our length and our width to find the area or the space inside this whole shape. Remember, in order to find our area, we're going to use our formula area equals length times width. Our area is equal to the length, which is very good eight units. And we're gonna multiply that length by the width, which is very good, five units. What is eight times five? If you're not sure, you can use our friendly number five because that's an easy number to skip count by and we can skip count by fives eight times. Let's do that together. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Very good. So our area of this figure or this shape is 40, but we can't forget our label. Our label is square units. You can just write an SQ for square. So 40 square units. So when you go to find your answer on your quiz, this is your equation. Okay, great job. Let's take a look at number three together. Number three asks you to type the equation that you would use to find the area of this rectangle. So remember, our equation is going to start with our formula, area equals length times width. So let's find the length or the long side together. One, two, three. Very good. So the length is three units. And the width, can you go ahead and find the width for me? Very good, the width is six units, right? One, two, three, four, five, six units. So our equation would look like this. It would be our length, three units, times our width, six units equals, okay? If you're not sure what three times six is, remember you can use, um, you can skip count by threes or sixes. You can draw a picture you can use a hundreds chart, any strategy that works for you. Um, so I'd like you to go ahead and pause the video and figure out what three times six is. And then when you're ready, press play. Okay, friends, great job. So you should have told me that three times six equals 18. And our area is 18, don't forget your label, square units. Excellent job. And remember, with an equation, you need your answer. So you need to have three times six equals 18 square units. Let's take a look at number four together.
This says the following rectangle is partially split into unit squares. All that means is that they filled up some of the whole rectangle with these unit squares and they left some of it empty. What is the area of the rectangle above? Okay, so you're going to need to write an equation. So your job is going to be to use our formula length times width. So in a minute, I'm going to ask you to pause the video. I'd like you to find the length. I'll write that here. This is the length. And then I'd like you to find the width. Then please multiply your length times your width and find the answer. Don't forget your label, square units. When you're done with that, press play and we'll take a look at number five together. Okay friends, great job working on number four. Let's take a look at number five. It's very similar to all the ones we've been doing. It says in the box below, when you go to submit your quiz, type the equation you should use to find the area of rectangle A. So you're looking to find the area of this shaded in rectangle right here. Remember, use your formula, area equals length times width. Count up your length, count up your width, multiply those numbers, and then don't forget your label. When you're ready, press play and we'll take a look at number six. Okay friends, great job working hard on number five. Let's take a look at our last question today, number six. So this one looks a little bit funny, okay? Just like our other one. The rectangle is partially split into unit squares, meaning some of the rectangle um, has been filled in with the unit squares and some of it has not been filled in. So we are going to use our formula, area equals length times width, to find the area of this whole rectangle. Now before I can do that, I'm just gonna complete some of this rectangle for you here, okay? So that you can kind of see more what our length is here. What is our length here? Very good, it's three units, right? And then our width, I'm just gonna draw a line here so that I can see it more clearly. So I'd like you to count up your width for me. Okay, once you have your width, please write your equation. So our area is going to equal three, or our length, times our width. Go ahead and um, stop the video and solve it. And when you're done, don't forget your label square units. And then you can go back in and you can plug all of your answers into the quiz for Mr. Terry. That's it today, guys. Great job.